in the past few years, the demand for 35 PL mount lenses has exploded. You had Pro 35, then you had RED, then you had compact cine cameras, and you had converted HDSLR. It's basically what the clients want. It's the look, it's the style that, of shooting that people want to work with. Most of the lenses that have been come out, there's been a lot of new lenses that have been made and have made available. Uh, most of them have been prime lenses, sets of prime lenses. And one of the uh, say limitations of the range of lenses that have come out is that there haven't been a lot of wide angle lenses. It's generally been more to the middle and longer, just the most popular lenses. Uh, well, Focus Optics decided to go a different way. There's a little bit of a hole in what's available out there. They came out with this. This is a zoom lens. This is the uh, Ruby 14 to 24 T 2.8 zoom lens. Uh, it only weighs three pounds and it's quite petite. It's 138 millimeters from front to back. Uh, it's five and a half inches. So it's quite Quite a small compact lens, and actually, to put that in perspective, this is a brand new uh, Sony uh, Prime lens. This is a, a 35 that they came out with the F3. You can see that these two lenses are just about the same size and about the same weight, within a few ounces of each other. So, it's a very small lens for uh, what it for for being a zoom lens, uh, certainly, and. Um, it is based on a Nikon still lens, actually, the Nikon 14 to 24 uh, f 2.8. And um, it's an excellent lens. Everyone loves that lens, but they've completely reworked it and rehoused it here. First thing they had to do was change the direction of focus. Uh, Nikon lenses focus in the opposite direction than everybody else's lenses, and certainly all the cine lenses. And that's going to really drive your ACs crazy. So they uh, changed the direction of focus, and they also expanded the range. It, you know, that lens, you barely move it at all, and it's pulled focus. Here you have a very long range that you can turn that focus scale, and you have lots and lots of marks. And it focuses all the way down to one foot. So from the film plane, that's, you know, you're only about there. It's very close. And uh, they just expanded all the scales. So you had controls on it. You have gears built in and such. And this lens looks fantastic. It looks fantastic in Super 35 because you're using the sweet spot of the lens because this lens is designed for full frame 35 or Vista Vision. It looks great in that format as well. If you want to shoot it with uh, Vista Vision, you actually have to take off this front housing. I'm not going to take it off all the way, but uh, this front ring gets replaced with this front ring, and that has little cutouts in it so that it doesn't uh, block the frame. It doesn't vignette uh, because it's just so wide a lens, 14 on the wide end. But if you, uh, the, the reason you would want to have this is this way you can fit a lens cap or you can fit it into a matte box neatly. And and uh, it's a 110 millimeter standard size on the outside. And actually, on the inside, it's threaded to 102 millimeters. That's a standard filter size. So you could screw a filter directly on this lens if you wanted to just go really lightweight and small. Uh, but you know, seeing is believing. Let's, um, let's put it up on the camera. So here we are now with the 14 to, uh, to 24 mounted up on the camera. This is a Sony uh, uh, F3. So that's a Super 35 sensor that you're looking at with this lens. We're at 24 millimeters right now. And the first thing you notice, besides the fact that I'm only about two feet away from the camera, is that the lines behind me uh, remain straight. They don't curve. And uh, well, let's see what we can do for close focus. I'll just take the lens and focus all the way in. And uh, let's see, that's right about there. And that's pretty sweet for a 24 millimeter lens. That's where we are right now, 24 to have it fill, to be able to get that close that you can fill the frame so well, uh, that large on just a little penny. Now let's put focus a bit back to normal. And then we'll zoom it out to 14 millimeters. and. It's, you get that sense of depth without having, you know, the, any kind of bending you see in the background is that extreme wide angle effect, but it's at a very linear, rectilinear is what it's referred to as, uh, frame where you don't have uh, straight lines bowing or curving. They, are, they remain straight. So if you look at the verticals here, they remain quite straight. They don't bend in the frame, which is what ha can happen a lot with extreme wide angle lenses, because especially in zooms, because they just have to compromise a lot of different things. Uh, it's a very clean, straight looking lens. It doesn't have flaring issues. It, it's very sharp. It's even brightness from one corner to the next and through the middle. It's just a really good looking lens. This is the Ruby 14 to 24 T 2.8 zoom. Covers Super 35, covers VistaVision, full frame 35. Available now from Able Cinetech.